Here are the top 10 best PC RPGs you should play in 2020. Hey Pushpins, in this video we will be talking about role playing games on PC. We all know how RPGs constantly give us rich storylines mixed with characters and equipment customizations, sometimes thus putting them on the most of our top list genres of games. From my experience and research so far this year, I've been able to make a list of top 10 PC RPGs you should play in 2020. So sit tight and enjoy. Do you want to win any of the items you see on your screen? All you have to do is watch the whole video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, and make sure you're subscribed. Good luck! Number 10 is Dark Souls. Well, for some personal reasons, you might not like this. This is a masochist's PC RPG. It's basically a cruel, relentless fight through a horrible, dying land. Any little misreading of your opponent can get you killed instantly. Matter of fact, the You Died screen will become very familiar to your eyes before winning a battle. This can be really annoying and exhausting, but the best part is that every win will matter to you because you will have gone through a lot to get that win. This would then equip you with more experience and power to face the next even harder challenge. The game gives you the freedom to develop your character as you deem fit, but also the top-notch design of the opponents in all ramifications is quite impressive. Despite having an old-fashioned game design which cut across the whole game, this doesn't seem to be simple in any way has a complexity similar to games with new designs. There are also various weapons and armors which can be applied to your character and they give you a different feel as each of them is being used. The rate and flow of battle are different with different weapons and armors. And if you are very adventurous and daring, there are a lot of cornucopia and trinkets and magical stuff hidden away in the long forgotten tombs and suburbs of the cities. Number 9. RuneScape <laughs> RuneScape is an MMORPG and has one of the largest online communities. It's an extremely massive open world game, with frequent updates giving you new things to experience. As the player, you will get to customize your avatar and then step into the medieval world of Gylenor. You will then go ahead and explore many kingdoms, sail to different regions, stroll through ancient cities, and most importantly, meet many other players as well as non-playable characters. While in Gylenor, you acquire skills and look for raw materials. Then furthermore, you prepare yourself for battle by improving your combat skills and other life sharings like mining, swordsmanship, fishing, and even magical powers. What you do on there depends on your choice. You can be a warrior and hunt mystical monsters or live a low-key life and build a homestead. You can compete with other players in games, quests, and combat or team up and play collaboratively to slay the most gruesome and deadly monsters. More freedom can be seen in the quests, as you can set your own goals without having to depend on a preset backstory. And as a new player, you can seek help by meeting advisors in each town for information and begin to gain skills, trade, and chat with other players through their avatars. This game is not entirely free, as you have to pay to be able to access many puzzle-like adventure quests. Number 8. Divinity Original Sin 2 Welcome, adventurer, to an RPG unlike any other. In a world forsaken by the gods, the people need you to become their next divine. This is no different from its original. Original Sin 2 is a different breed of RPG, as it has n another two genres of games, the online arena battler and the tabletop style adventure enabler. The idea here is to get you totally immersed in a detailed world with intriguing features. It completely outdoes most modern RPGs that leave you with just basic choices. Starting with the character creation, the game allows you to design your hero and you have to decide to choose from the six unique origin characters. From the arrogant lizard to the red prince. The game is however brutal and unforgiving. You need to be able to navigate the terrain to gain an edge over your opponents during combat and be ready for some smacking if you fail to use these advantages to beat your opponent. Mind you, every decision you make in this game has consequences. Number 7. Mass Effect 2 No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. This is a combination of fiction and space games. Developed by BioWare, this game showcases exploration and pseudoscience of Star Trek, the cinematic action of Battlestar Galactica, and the fantastical elements of Star Wars. They combined all these to give us a tense game with the suicidal mission, which is to take over the galaxy. 
The game puts human beings as the aliens in the galactic community, planning to take the space from the owners. You as the player, Commander Shepard, are a great soldier leading the way. The character of Commander Shepard depends on what your view of leadership is. You can make him or her a glory-driven hero, a cruel narcissistic soldier, or someone of virtue that loves all races. It features dramatic set pieces and workmanlike squad-based combat. And also, besides, you get to wander around sticking your nose in matters that don't concern you. It's a cool game, and by the way, watch out for Mass Effect 3. Number 6. Final Fantasy XIV – A Realm Reborn Another MMORPG, which is one of the best RPGs for PC in this format, this game also has the largest ongoing open world to explore at will. You get to team up with others, and then go on epic quests with a well-detailed backstory. You also get to create your own character with various design options, and then you get to start gaining experience points as you move up and conquer quests, kill monsters, and engage with other players. Upon landing on the planet Hydaelyn in the land of Eorzea, you first choose the city to explore. Then you will be taken on a ride to that city, which you will have to have a scary vision. Then you must acquire skills to be able to complete with the warriors of light that you will soon encounter. Each quest takes you to a new plot twist and developments that will catch you off guard. As you play, your character develops to a new level where you can save Nova Rift, a land overtaken by endless light that has given birth to gruesome monsters there and you develop into the new warrior of darkness. You destroy the light and save Novarin. The game gives a lot of freedom with several hours of exploration, interaction with other gamers and NPCs, main quests, side quests, and other cool activities. Looking for a fully immersive experience that tries to take you out of this world? This is probably the best RPG on PC for that. Number five, Pillars of Eternity. This RPG is not just good, but is different from the others. It brings out the best parts of old games by using the Infinity Engine like Baldur's Gate and Planetscape Torment, while still creating its lane with a compelling fantasy yarn and a well-detailed original world. It's one of Obsidian Entertainment's most successful games, despite having issues with turning their beautiful writings into polished adventure over the past few years. They paid attention to every detail of this game, no matter how small. The game has several options just like any other massive RPG, and enough characters. Religion, philosophy, class warfare, and the world of Iroa are overtaken by conflict and crisis. In every region on the map, problems are waiting for nosy adventurers. And even the most seemingly boring quests can give you an idea of what to expect in the world. The chance to create a reputation, good or bad. Obsidian took a different route this time by not exploiting the popularity of its spiritual predecessors and chose to work on a, out an experience that doesn't care about nostalgia before you can feel the impact. It's a solid step forward for this type of RPG, and the overall experience is one that reminds us more of D&D or tabletop RPGs than many of those rooted in D&D. Pillars of Eternity 2 might not really be the exact sequel to its predecessors, but it surely has not lost its originality. Number 4. Diablo 3 And the stench of terror drifts on a bitter wind. Diablo 3 is one of the best RPGs that offers you different roles with various skills for different play advantages. One minute you are a barbarian, and the next you are a witch doctor or necromancer calling out on the dead. This third installment actually changed the game for the Diablo franchise by introducing fast slash and hack action to the role-playing experience. In this game, the protective world stone that keeps dark forces away from a particular sanctuary has been destroyed. Two decades have gone by, and a new set of heroes must get back to the legendary Black Soul Stone that was forged by a warlock named Kitan Kul and destroyed. The stone is meant to entrap the souls of the Seven Lords of Hell. 
Like I said earlier, you have the freedom of choosing from different roles, which are barbarians, witch doctors, wizards, monks, necromancers, crusaders, and demon hunters. You will engage in fierce combat and add to your wares as you loot gears and trade with other players. The more swords, capes, and other weapons you collect, the higher your status as you defend the sanctuary from demons and other dark forces. Number three, the Witcher Wild Hunt. This one is built upon the previous installment with the introduction of an extremely large open world and filled with monsters and evil humans. There's also great improvement in the combat styles with the streamlining of alchemy and tightening of crafting giving it some serious war atmosphere. It also focuses on other aspects of the real world by challenging topics like racism and bigotry. Each quest draws you deeper into the whole drama of what is happening as you get to know more about the war-torn lands and the people. As easy as a quest might look, for example, you as the player Geralt being sent to kill a monster can become so messy with consequence laden stories that might get you stuck with the game for several hours. Moving around the complex dark fantasy world is cool, though it can be frustrating sometimes because of its oppressive nature. And just so you know, every little action of yours in this game has consequences. The developers have also done a good job by not loading the game like a usual RPG. No inane collectibles or quests to kill an infinite number of monsters. Every quest has a mission, a reward, and a backstory to unravel. The funny thing is the smallest of them might take you several hours to complete. The Witcher 3 is a game I highly recommend because of its immersive nature. It's worth one's time. And if you love mods, there are a lot more out there to give you a customized experience. Watch out for The Witcher 4 though. Number 2. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim When the sons of Skyrim would spill their own blood. This game has established itself to be a force since its launch in 2011. It has stayed relevant and stood the test of time by being able to keep gamers playing it despite emer the emergence of new ones, many thanks to mods and different console commands. It has a very infectious atmosphere and the best musical theme of any video game you can think of. Skyrim forces you to unravel every narrative, be it battling gargantuan dragons on top of the throat of the world as its frosted mountain peaks cut through the sky, or just responding to the chime of Nir Nirnroot playing by the riverbank. The developers have made it such that you don't get to miss out on any location as you will always eventually notice a previously unexplored point of interest before the end of a session. There are also side distractions like dungeon crawls and quests, which you will come across as you play. This game offers you an engrossing fantasy tale and satisfying freedom of choice. Number one, Fable Three. My Albion, its people will do as I say, or they will die. The third installment in the Fable series, Fable Three is arguably one of the best PC RPGs of the epic genre. This third installment has cool features like fast-paced action, intense combat with weapons, and even hand-to-hand -hand and magical powers. This game is set such that the player, you, are a member of the royal family, either as a woman or a man. Your mission is to kill the evil tyrant, King Logan, the ruler of Albion, who happens to be your brother. You must live the kingdom as you go to into the wilderness, passing it through secret passages and dimensions. Along, you will go and seek help from nomadic mountain dwellers, some soldiers from the king's army, and several others. Then, after forming an army needed for a revolution, along the lines of the wilderness you will discover a greater evil in the Crawler, who is one of the forces of darkness that will destroy the entire world of Albion. Once you capture the king, then a new game starts. Your success after killing the king relies on decisions you make as a leader. You are now left with what you do with Logan and how to lead and protect Albion from the Crawler. It is an immense and well-detailed open-world game with a lot of indescribable experiences. It is worth the time spent on it. Here are some honorary mentions. Neverwinter, Disco Elysium, Torment, Tides of Newer Manera, Fallout, New Vegas, Vampire, The Masquerade Bloodlines, Baldur's Gate 2, Shadows of Am, Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic 2, Shadowrun, Hong Kong. So that's it on the top 10 best PC RPGs you should play in 2020. Did you agree with my list? Let me know what you think about this list in the comment section. If you're not yet subscribed to this channel, please do and turn on the notification button. That way you get notified when I post a new video. Till next time, stay safe and don't stop gaming.